Adam, Britt, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, good, thank I'm you. I'm doing good. I have two of the biggest stars from AEW All Access. It's a brand new docuseries going behind the scenes. And I have Adam Cole and Dr. Britt Baker. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Yes, good morning to you. Thanks for having us. Thank you for joining us. I got to get started with Dr. Britt Baker. You're a licensed dentist, correct? Correct. And practicing. <laughs> yep. And practicing. Wait, well, I'm about to ask that question. Uh, intentionally or unintentionally, have you ever knocked somebody's tooth out in the ring? Um, no, to both of those, but it's definitely something, you know, if, if business gets slow, it's something I have in my back pocket as, as a plan B, like the emergency button. Hey, we need some patience. Hang on guys. I'll be right back. I like that answer. That's a good one. How did, doctor, how did you get involved with this? how did you get started with this? With, um, so I was a professional wrestling fan and it was something that I didn't ever think I was going to do until I decided I wanted to do it type thing. And right when I started dental school was when I started my professional wrestling training. So the, I, I've done the two together th from the very start. I, it's been a juggling act from day one and it just really makes me appreciate what I have now and because I worked really hard for it and the fact that I get to live out two dreams and two careers and I I get to do them at the same time um i i think i have the best the best two jobs in the world and i'm very very thankful for it and it's really cool that all access kind of dives in behind the scenes of what goes into the daily life of being a dentist and a wrestler <laughs> wow adam you're the most one of the most prolific professional wrestlers today and widely popular how did you get started in all this Oh God. So uh, again, from, from the time I was nine years old, the first time I ever saw professional wrestling, I, I was hooked. I was captivated by the crowd reactions, the wrestlers, the entrances. And I knew from a very young age, that's what I wanted to do with my life. When I was 18 and still a senior in high school, I actually was training and started my professional wrestling career. So my entire adult life has been consumed with professional wrestling. It, it was really, really awesome knowing at such a young age, what I wanted to do with my life. And again, I couldn't be happier. How do you two approach this profession? How do you get ready when you get ready to go into the ring? What are some of the things you do, Britt? Uh, well, for, I don't think you're ever completely ready because of how unpredictable professional wrestling is. But trying to be as prepared for everything that that's that's the secret to success just be ready at all, at all times and obviously you have to be physically ready mentally ready you have to be training all the time um, and and just really kind of studying the product and, and studying all your opponents studying what's going on in in other companies too just really being in the core of professional wrestling and knowing what's going on outside of it yeah what 100 what Britt said the preparing beforehand is is so so important as far as like right before before I go through the curtain, I always have so much nerves and so much adrenaline and excitement that lots of times you'll find me off in a corner somewhere just breathing deep, trying to relax myself before I go out there because I'm I'm so jazzed up. I'm so fired up. Um, so lots of times I find myself calming myself down right before I go out there. Now, here's the other question. How did you two meet? So we actually met on the dating app called Bumble. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a very funny story. I was um, in in Eastern Pennsylvania for a dental school convention, and I saw him pop up on the app Bumble. I was just you know with my roommate at the time, swiping through, and I saw this handsome face. I said, hmm, this guy looks so familiar, but I don't I don't know who he is. I couldn't think of who he was. And then once I put two and two together, the the rest was kind of history. Yeah. Adam, what happened after that? Yeah, well, after that, I had to ask this one to go on a date with me for quite some time. Yeah. She was a little unsure if she wanted to to date a professional wrestler. Um, but then then something happened again. We had kind of become friends even before that. where We were just communicating and keeping up with each other. Um, and I went to uh, Japan for the, their biggest event of the year, Wrestle Kingdom. And, and there I was wrestling Kyle O'Reilly and I won the Ring of Honor championship for a record breaking third time. And the entire time I was messaging and checking on Brit. And I think 
she really appreciated that. Yeah. Um, so finally, she agreed to go on a date with me. We both drove two and a half hours to a TGI Fridays. We got there around 6 p.m. and we closed the place down. We sat there drinking coffee until midnight, until finally the waitress came over and said, hey, I'm really sorry, but you guys have to go. Um, and, and seriously, <laughs> the rest was history. I mean, we I loved talking to her. I still love talking to her and being able to sit there and communicate with her. I, I knew I wanted to go on more dates and, and get to know her better. And now here we are. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, there's a question my viewers are asking, and that question is this. You two being a couple, when you get to home and start playing around a little bit, who wins the wrestling match? Britt, do you let Adam win, or Adam, do you let Britt win, or is it real competition? I never let, let anybody win. I am way <laughs> too competitive. <laughs> for that i i am a, i am a taurus i am stubborn if i can win i'm gonna win yeah for, for the sake of this potentially being brought up later uh yeah brit wins, brit wins. <laughs> smart move adam smart move thank you all right let, <laughs> last question any chance of you two either one of you either joining dc or marvel universe that would be Ooh, a dream. God, um, yeah. Actually, for over a year now, I've been taking acting classes because uh, when I started getting more and more active in, in cutting professional wrestling promos and diving into what really makes a compelling character and a, and a character that's not you, but you have to find ways to take elements of yourself and put it into that character to make it something that people can relate to. That was fascinating to me. And then, you know, you realize that's what acting is. And I took such a huge interest in it and I love it. So I love acting. I love taking acting classes. And I, I would love someday to be in a, a you know, feature film or a TV show because it's, it's fascinating to me. Right. Adam, same for you. Oh, my God, for sure. I, I mean, again, and when you look at universes that large and that uh, widely known, of course, being involved in something like that would be amazing. Um, actually, on a, on a similar scale, I'm actually very passionate about learning about voice acting within uh, video games. So I'm, I'm very, very passionate about gaming, the stories that they tell, the characters that they, they develop. Say, very similar thing with television shows and with movies. Um, but to answer your question, yes, of course, that, that would be absolutely amazing to be involved. One last thing for you, Adam. Do you know they're still looking for the next James Bond? What do you think? That's so, well, I grew up watching, I love all the James Bond movies. And, that, and that's good to know. I might have to put that in my calendar, see what we can do. <laughs> 007. <laughs> <laughs> I've been talking with Adam Cole and Dr. Britt Baker. We're talking about AEW's All Access. Thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend. Thank, Thank you. you.